What's up gamers? GamerDad here. This is a guide to help you complete the All Sweat Summer Quest. Reach the top 25 players. If you haven't subscribed or used my creator code yet, please do so. I greatly appreciate the support. So for this challenge, you need to make it to the top 25 players in a match two times. So place 25 or better. Lots of ways to do this. First off, you could just go out and go crazy, of course, and get as many kills and win a game. Boom. But if you've got you know, if you're newer to the game or you're not quite as confident about that, you can stick to the edges of the map and you can do something like this. Now there is the camping strategy, which is like hiding somewhere and never moving and just kind of moving carefully around the map. That's fine. But this way is more interesting than that, I would say. So we're going to land at the very bottom edge here. And obviously what you're doing is you're staying away from the battle bus and go to the opposite edge of the map. And a place like this research station here, the cool thing is you can actually just come in here and you could be going after like some of your accolades, go after other challenges. See, and you can also go for XP because you could open every single container, whether it's a produce box, small, large ammo container, destroy slurp barrels, you know, open up every chest you see, all the ammo crates. And as you go about this, not only are you going to get a credit for this challenge, the reaching of the top 25, but hey, maybe you'll open all the extra containers you need and get that accolade, which again means more XP. You could also be focusing on doing daily challenges while you do this, but those who are newer, I do recommend you just focus on staying alive for the top 25. And in this case, as we go, 27 people left at this point. When you get to this far, I recommend highly, unless you're sweaty, unless you're really good, just even stay away from anybody. I would make a point of like, you know, staying on the outskirts and there'd be nothing nothing worse than dying at 26 when you're doing this one. So you can see I need to last one more person and I'm just continuing to loot up here. So my first game I made it to 25 by simply looting. If I saw a player, unless they were right in my face, I didn't try even think about fighting them. As you can see, I have zero eliminations, which some people will frown upon or be think is some kind of disappointment. But the point of the challenge is to survive, not to get as many kills. That's a completely separate challenge. So here we go. There should only be a couple more moments here before we have the top 25 reached. And so like I say, just focus on getting XP. Focus on getting things done while also doing this challenge. And so for the second match, which I'm going to load up in a second, there's two things and two ways I'm going to do. Check out my other video about the reaching um, the top 50, which will talk about how you can camp in these in the bushes that are in this area literally never get a weapon, probably never move, and still potentially reach the top 25 or at least the top 50 for the other challenge. So at this point, I started down in the near, north of the airport. This is the kind of cottages here at the beach side where you can find one of the newest NPCs, the Underwriter. I have a video about the Underwriter if you want to check that one out. So here, anytime I heard a player no point running scared or anything at this point if you encounter them. And look, see how I did the exact same strategy twice here? If you hear somebody, figure out where they are, make sure you're reloaded, make sure you've got full health, full shields, and then let the person commit to you. Like I was hiding behind the edge of the door there and I just step out and catch them off guard, right? No point like running around, making a, bit, a lot of noise, bouncing off the roof, jumping here, there, and everywhere. So now we here we go. Fast forward to the match. In this game, I only, I've only i only had three eliminations. No big deal at all. I went back to focusing on trying to get more XP. And then again, once I reach like the top 30 even, I'm taking it chill and making sure I successfully finish this challenge. There you go. There's your strategy. Either go crazy and get lots of eliminations or just go around on the edges of the map and stay away from named locations. Stay away from players. Whichever strategy works best. Hope it's helpful. Don't forget to drop a like, leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button, and please do use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. Good luck with the challenge, and until the next video, this is GamerDad out.